Oh God, welcome from... Sorry, sorry. Ah, yeah, man, I couldn't talk at first. Gotta talk right now, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm back with another one, man. I got a good one for y'all, man. Hey, please, like and subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate it, man. I got a good one for you guys today. I'm here to show you guys how everybody gets brainwashed. Everybody gets brainwashed when it comes to the NBA or NFL. But we're going to talk about the NBA. Okay. This title for this one is The Warriors Has Fooled Everybody. The Warriors Have Fooled Everybody. This is how they fooled everybody. Okay. I need everybody everybody to understand this is where the fool come in at. this is how you've been fooled and this is how every time somebody asks you a question and you give the wrong answer to this question and i just been getting frustrated 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 i listen to the media i read comments i'll be, I be like man this this is frustrating are y'all really brainwashed like this here and what i'm talking about is steph curry Steph Curry is great. Don't get me wrong. But if somebody sits up here and says Steph Curry is a point guard, y'all need to just go, I don't know, what. y'all need to just give up. Y'all need to give up with watching sports. Y'all need to just get. Steph Curry is not a point guard. You've been brainwashed. You've been bamboozled. Media. Fans, he is not a point guard. Stop saying that. The reason why I say y'all been fooled is because every time y'all guys look at the lineup, that's what y'all look. Y'all look at the lineup and y'all see point guard, Steph Curry. Look, people who play basketball, people who watch basketball, y'all know Steph Curry is not a point guard. Once again, so stop saying he's a dang point guard. He's not a point guard. Who is the point guard? Fit it clear it up for you. Draymond Green is the point guard. Yes, surprise is out. He is the point guard of the team. Once again, he is the point guard of the team. Now, here's facts. This is not assumption. This is facts. One proof. This has been drilled in Draymond Green's head. This is why I say y'all have been fooled, but they know. They know, and, and it's, it's not their job to tell you because I guess that's what confuses people. If, if what works, works, then why would you change it? Why would you go up there and say, well, you know what? We win all these games and we don't want these championships. So you know what? It's time to let, we still playing, but we're going to let the kid out the bag. Surprise, y'all. Draymond Green is the point guard. Steph is the two. No, they're not going to say nothing. This is listen. This is this is facts. This is the reason why KD and Draymond fell out. Everybody keep thinking that oh well, it was because he said the B word. This is, yes, that's the other part of it. Listen, let's go back to the play. Draymond knows that Kevin Durant is the superstar. He is he he's the greatest player on that team. Come on now. So when he got the rebound, he didn't defer to Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant had in his mind that I am the greatest player. Give me the ball. But why he didn't get the ball? Because Draymond is the point guard. He does not have to give him the ball. That's what started the goddamn argument. I don't have to defer to you. If I give you the ball, it's because I choose to. If I don't, if I don't give you the ball, I don't have to give you the ball. That's why they fell out. Listen, another thing. People keep saying Mark Jackson. This is another fool. People feel sorry for Mark Jackson. Look, I feel sorry for Mark Jackson too. Mark Jackson is a great guy. I, I listened to his interviews. He's a great guy. He's a great person, man. Um, Very religious-like. You know, he, he's not with the cursing. He, he's, he, he's good. They would have not won an NBA championship with Mark Jackson. 
So people, I understand that you say, okay, well, he was there. He put the two together. That's what he did. That's what he did. But let me go ahead and sum everything up for you guys. Steph Curry became the two when Mark left. Draymond became the one. Clay became the three. Maybe you guys get confused because when y'all see him go back OD, he can go. Listen, let me explain something to you about that. Steph Curry is the office of juggernaut, which means is you cannot be a juggernaut. Listen, I'm going to repeat it again. You cannot be a juggernaut if you're a great defender. That's what's called a two-way player. That's what makes them great. If you're an offensive juggernaut nine times out of ten, you're not a two-way player. Steph Curry is not. We've never known him to be a two-way player. So to protect Steph Curry, people like Draymond, people like Clay have to pick up the slack for him so he can be the offensive juggernaut. Now let's go back. Now, when Mark Jackson got fired, Steve Kerr took over. They won an NBA championship. Think about that. Everything got switched. Yes, Steph Curry was known for a point guard before Kerr got there. He was not a point guard when he got there. But he still gives them the title. If you're a ball player, like I said, if you're a ball player, you know that he is not a point guard. Draymond has led the Warriors in assist ever since Kerr got there. It's a fact. It's a fact. He is the guard. So get that through your get it through your head. He's the point guard. Okay. Mark Jackson still wouldn't want because it's the system. It's the system. You gotta understand. To me, my opinion. Um, Steve Kerr was like, this, this Warriors team is like, what if everybody evolved around me at Chicago and Jordan was the number two, Pippen was the three and Robin was the four, but I was the one option. This is what, what the Warriors look like. I, I'm thinking this is what he had in the, it had in mind. Because that's, think about it. Steve Kerr is the highest three-point shooter in NBA history. Percentage-wise. Let me repeat that. Percentage-wise. He has the highest percentage. 45. 45. Steph is not too far. He's not too far. The reason why I say Mark Jackson still wouldn't have won that and Steve Kerr was the right man for the job is because he talked to these guys and got them to understand their roles, and this is the roles they needed to play. There's no egos. If it was egos, that team would have been destroyed a long time ago. Kevin Durant was a great complimentary piece, but we all know if Kevin Durant would have not gotten there, they still was going to the finals. They still was going because they were healthy. They still was going to go. Okay. Listen, we got to go back, guys. We got to go back. Steve Kerr coaches. If you add up the championship resume, do you know how many championship rings they have? 16. 16 NBA championships. You learn from something. You got the two greatest coaches in NBA history. And you played on the team. And you won championships with both of them. He's took the triangle and pop system. That's why Golden State is so great. Because they are a systematic team with a great understanding that, hey, look. 
everybody has roles. Why do you think the Spurs were so successful? Tim Duncan, yes, was the man, but he wasn't. He, he, he didn't move like a superstar. That was a system team. Steph Curry is Michael Jordan. Draymond is Dennis Rodman with assist skills. Clay Thompson is Scottie Pippen with a better three. Those three guys, he understands, are the core. You substitute what they need. Everybody else is dispensable. That's all you do. You just match them up with the right people. That's it. That's all you doing. So, yes, you guys were fooled. Mark Jet one. Mark Jackson was not going to take that team to a championship team. He, he, he was not. He, was, he wasn't. Steve Kerr had the better system. Better system. Understand when I say this. You gotten better with Mark Jackson. Yes. But the first year Kerr get there, you win. So now you know how you've been fooled. So when somebody asks you what position he plays, he is not a point guard. Stop looking at that title. Stop looking at the title. He is not a point guard. You guys have played basketball. I'm pretty sure you guys have dribbled basketball. He is not a point guard. He is a two guard. Another thing before I go, let's do the comparison. Allen Iverson was criticized for being ball dominant and not being a point guard. Right? Everybody remember this. It was like, Everybody understood it. Everybody understood it when it was Allen Iverson. Everybody got it. It was like, man, he's not a man. He's he he's a point guard masquerading as a two. Everybody understood it. But when it goes to Steph Curry, everybody get lost. Okay, let's pull up the numbers. We have Allen Iverson, career six point two. We have Steph Curry, 6.5, career. Is it that big of a difference? No. So get it through your head. Get it through your head. He's masquerading as a two. He's not a point guard. He's a shooting guard. If everybody says he is the greatest shooting guard, well, no. I wouldn't say shooting guard. Michael Jordan is the greatest shooting guard. But he is the greatest shooter of all time, then that means what? There's let's 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 look at the positions: it's point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center. So if we're saying he is the greatest shooting guard, I keep saying it, the greatest shooter of all time, the shooting guard is supposed to be the best shooter on a team because that's his title, shooting guard. He's a two. He's a two, guys. They keep food. I guess it's a mental strategy that they use because other teams keep playing him like that. Come on. He does not guard the toughest defenders. That's not his job. His job is to be put in the right position. Draymond puts him in the right position to hit his shots because he is a two. That's it. That's it, guys. Understand that. It doesn't look like he's more like Iverson because you guys really are not paying attention. Iverson, dribble, 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 like Charles Barkley say. And then he goes to the rack. Curry will cross you up a couple of times to create some shots, yes. But most of the time, he's coming off picks. He's coming off picks. You got to go through two picks to even just guard him. That's the reason why he's so successful. Everybody's mind is set a pick, set a pick, set a pick, set a pick. 
it's tough guarding him because you got to go through so many picks. That's why he's so successful. Listen, when a coach says, look, you are the shooter. You are the number one option. The first choice is to get you open. We are going to try to get you open and you just pull. This system could have worked for anybody else that was a two, but it didn't happen that way because you actually had point guards that were ball dominant and then you actually had the shooting guard who were ball dominant that actually liked to dribble more. So please understand, it works out great. They have, they've been successful for so long because of this system. It is a great system. It's perfect. Perfectly designed for that team. But you have to have an understanding. Not just every team can go by this system, though. Kevin Durant fit perfectly in this system because he's he's in a, he can adapt to any system. That's it. LeBron cannot work in a system like that. Because LeBron is going to want to control the system. Which is he's going to believe that he is the number one option. And I want to be in the system. So it's not going to work with LeBron. It's not. It wouldn't work for Dame. It would not work for Dame. At all. It will work for Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard is a system he came with the Spurs. He is a system guy. It will work. Paul George. It will not work. Marcus Smart. It would work. Jason Tatum. It won't work. Think about it, guys. Just start putting players in and start something to take, a, take Kevin Durant out. When they won a championship, they start putting another player off in there. It will work if the player understands the system and willing to adapt to the system. But you guys can tell me if I'm wrong. Am I wrong about it? I mean, I don't think so. I mean, I got facts to back that up. Since 2015 to now, like I said, Draymond has led... The Warriors in assist since the championship to now. You seen the play where him and Kevin Durant got into it. This is not an opinion, that's a fact. But I could be wrong. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. I'm out.